Okay, it's Tuesday, bit of motivation for you. Um, I'm upstairs, kids are downstairs doing a bit of craft, so I'm upstairs and Dean is out and about. So it's nice and quiet and calm up here. Had a great night's sleep, I listened to a really good bit of meditation, sent me off like an absolute trooper. So um, that was key in making me feel great and upbeat today. Um, seen a client this morning, seen my dad, it's his birthday, uh, so we took him out for lunch and generally life is good, so awesome. One area that I often see, I often speak about when people come my way is the fact that they will live their life and they will tend to get acceptance or they will tend to get opinions from other people via what they post on social media. Oh my days, I've just lost my job. Oh my days, I've just broken up with a girlfriend. Something's been stolen. Isn't life crap? Woe is me, blah, blah, blah. And they're looking for a response. And what they tend to be doing, they tend to be hanging on to that negative energy. They tend to be hanging on to that bad situation, that situation they want to improve, but they're not going to improve it by putting it out there and by getting more people sending um, messages like, oh, 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 isn't that, isn't that terrible? I, feel, I really feel for you. Um, it happened to me. This is what happened to me, so on and so forth. And all you tend to be doing is reliving it. And I understand why, because you feel in the moment that, life is crap, life sucks, I need to let it out. But all you tend to be doing is reliving it and you're not letting it go. And if you hang on to that, it becomes a residual, residual energy and something that basically drags you down, if that makes sense. So one of the biggest areas that I learned and I understood and, and that I implemented in changing my ways and my direction, most importantly, was not to hang on to it was to deal with it myself. If I could deal with it myself, all the all power to me, because I wasn't getting outside influences, outside influences that ultimately would, would stir it up and make me relive it over and over again. The more I talk about it, the more I relived it, and I wouldn't let it go, because I was giving it too much emotion. And that's really important. So we tend to be now a generation of people who have, who have completely fixed, sated on, on social media and, and, and living our lives through social media, and I get that. When it comes to the crap stuff, when it comes to the bad stuff, you want to let go of it. You want to let it go as quickly as possible, otherwise it hangs around you and it lingers. And sometimes putting it out there is the complete opposite of what you really want to achieve. So be really thoughtful of, of how you conduct your life. Be really thoughtful of those bad situations and how you deal with them. And most importantly, don't let other people jump on board and, and, and give their um, input, shall we say, because ultimately the input they're only going to say is going to re make you relive it over and over again and for all the thoughtful comments that are coming out there most importantly you're not letting go and you're not moving forward I hope that makes sense thursday is the day in the recording studio i'm sure i'll put some stuff out there for you um, really looking forward to it uh, the book is currently being read um, over and over again, just so it flows nightly, nicely even, there's a nice tempo, nice pace to it. I'm really looking forward to getting out there. Uh, please share, please like, please subscribe, as I always say, get the message out there. Mental health, well-being, male suicide, and basically low self-esteem is paramount in acknowledging it and opening up about it and not hiding away from it. Have a great Tuesday, enjoy your summer holidays, and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, bye.